the national elite champion in the 71 kilogram weight class. Yeah, it was in, I think, the, the first round. that it was a thrilling contest he comes away with championship silver terrific bout to witness So we're underway in the 75 kilogram middleweight final. It's a contest between Demi Carter of the Churchill's Boxing Club in London and Jerry Lee Palmer of the West Warwick's Amateur Boxing Club out of the Midlands Counties region. The woman in blue, Jerry Lee Palmer, comes here as the silver medalist from last year's championships at 75 kilograms and she's looking to get onto the front foot scoring to both head and body and immediately Demi Carter's got problems with her head guard so running repairs carried out over in that red corner to the satisfaction of the referee and indeed Demi Carter and the action resumes good work to the body from Carter Carter takes a left hook from Jerry Lee Palmer and both boxers checking the chin of one another with bent arm shots early in this contest. Yeah, they're working, they're working well from the uh, from the long range, but then when they're inside, uh, I think it was Carter landed with a brilliant lead hook. So just over a minute gone in this opening round, looking to snake out a trip hammer jab is Carter. Beautiful left uppercut and then a right hand straight down the pipe from Carter. Terrific two-shot combination. And then digging away with a hook to the body before bringing it upstairs. Carter showing wonderful variety. Yeah, and Palmer's not, let, let, not just there to be punched either. She's catching and returning and being very effective with her bent arm shots as well. So hooks continuing to be fired in from both boxes. Just beyond range, counter right hand is a terrifically picked shot from Jerry Lee Palmer. And we're then looking for a left hook as well. Is Palmer on the front foot? That was a good one two dip and came back with a backhand over the top from Carter. Good body shots going in there. So inside the final minute of this opening round. Carter continuing to press, couldn't find the range, but then all of a sudden Palmer felt her back on the ropes before pirouetting out of there and looking to put Carter in the confined position. Fainting with the front foot are both boxes. So just beyond range with the jab 
Here's Jerry Lee Palmer, upward left hand, followed by a glancing right cross, but then both boxers exchanging shots down the middle. My goodness, punching when their opponent's punching, and it's resulting in furious exchanges. Yeah, that was a good 2-1, and then she dipped and came back with the same shot, and, um, and the backhand landed each time. Good lead hook there from Carter. Just finishing the best that better did exchange there. So Demi Carter, who is actually competing in her first elite contest here in this final, acquitting herself very well indeed, is the woman in red from Churchill's. Won a development national title at the back end of last year, but was determined to step up to the elites, and here she is on the national championship stage, boxing for the title against the woman who claimed silver last year. Coach Paul Gilmore was explaining to me that she's been work she's been working incredibly hard as Jerry Lee Palmer since coming away with that silver. They've made some adjustments adjustments to her training, and they're hopeful that it'll pay dividends here in the final. And make no mistake, this contest still up for grabs because both boxers have showed very good variety and enjoyed considerable success. Yeah, Palmer's, Palmer's doing great work and great lead hook there, but then she's le she's keeping her head static, so then um, Carter's just picking it off with, with straight shots to finish. Good left jab from Carter, catching Palmer. But it's now... Palmer on the front foot, but again, she was picked off as she advanced. And how about that for a left hook and then a right hand from Carter? Solid shots. Perhaps enough space between them that they're not combinations, but they're eye-catching singles as Palmer looks to get busy to the body with her opponent in the corner. Yeah, I mean, she, she's double jabbing, which is the right thing to do to get yourself into range. But she's not taking her feet with her. So she's she the, after the second jab, she's over her front foot. And, and, and a bit off balance and Carter's just countering with it. So beyond the midpoint of the round, but look at that right hand success again and then hooked being dug into the body by Palmer. Good shot to the body from by Carter, excuse me, which brought about a good shot to the body from Palmer. Hooks being exchanged in the corner and the body shots of Palmer are doubling over Carter as she's sinking in that left hand beneath the floating rib. There's the same shot once again, which may have strayed below the belt. Yeah, I think a few have, to be honest, but, um, you know, they're the ones that it's going to slow Carter down and they're the ones that she wants to, to get in to make it. You can see her deep, breathing deeper now and go being happy to go back to the corner. Yep, she retreated to the corner of her own volition and... Palmer continuing to apply the pressure. It's in the space of the boxing ring where Carter has landed some terrifically eye-catching hooks and straights. But in this type of position, Palmer looks to get busy to the body. There's a right hand over the top. It was a right hook from Palmer. Palmer, a UK citizen who moves to Tenerife at the age of six. That's when she started boxing, returned to this country four years ago to pursue her boxing and get the benefit of better training and she's finishing in strong fashion here.
So into the third and final round we go. Of what has been a 75 kilogram middleweight final contested at a terrific clip. Long right hand landed by Palmer with the opening shot, but then a counter left hand came back from Carter. Oh, left uppercut not too far away from Palmer. As Carter looks to box away out of the corner. Good double jab while on the back foot from the woman in red. But then a left uppercut snaked home by Jerry Lee Palmer. And with the body shots that she invested in in the course of the second round begin to take their toll here in the third and slow down the legs of Carter. But Carter's just keeping her at the, at the end of her jabs and at the end of her long levers because I don't think she wants any more of them body shots. And, and, and Palmer's got to figure out a way how to get round it like she did um, more successfully towards the end of the round. That was a great backhand over the top, over the lazy jab of, of, of Carter. Terrific punch picking from Palmer, extending that right cross at mid-range. Good right left jab, good left jab from Carter and then look at her get busy. The left jab came at the end of a three shot combination, left right left and that final left jab did snap the head back of the woman in blue but a right hand over the top on the resumption from Palmer and then another right hand this time from Carter. She looks to work the body of her opponent. Yeah, they're both getting a little bit tired now. Um, and, and, and Palmer's allowing Carter to push her back like she was in the first round and she's uh, she's having less success than, than she did in the second. So will Palmer resume her body attack that served her so well in round number two. There she does go downstairs, it's a low blow, but the referee lets it go. Dan Demi Carter doesn't complain. She steps back into the breach, an attempted left hook from Palmer was long and ended up catching Carter with the forearm. But for Carter willing her way forwards, took an uppercut on the inside, but continues to press. Terrific tenacity being shown by both boxers. Carter does does good work, and she like when she was throwing them body shots, and then she she just gets caught with with things coming out and 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 hooks and straight shots on the way out. Great body shot. Terrific left Carter. hand to the body from Demi Carter sunk it in and then she's going downstairs herself palmer looks to respond with a body attacking kind the movement slowing now 30 seconds to go in the final round and a moment of sustained quality could well tilt the balance of this contest one way or the other is carter on the front foot driving palmer backwards palmer looking to nudge away with her lead left hand there's the 10 second clapper and it's Carter looking to push her opponent back once again. But Carter now being driven backwards by Palmer. Terrific two-way affair in that 75 kilogram middleweight final. By, by getting the two body shots off, but then gets caught with, by not bringing a hand back and gets caught by lazy shots over so the top like that. And Demi Carter makes a seamless transition through to the elite level of boxing. She is the national elite champion at 75 kilograms, prevailing on a 4-1 split over Jerry Lee Palmer of the West Warwick's Amateur Boxing Club. She deserves much kudos for the role she played in this final. It is consecutive middleweight silver for Jerry Lee Palmer.